Hey, do you like the mouse wheel? I like the mouse wheel. You can scroll with it. You can zoom with it. What else can you do with it? Let's find out in this. Let's find out. Now, while we have the mouse modifier section in the preferences, which takes care of what happens when you click or drag in different contexts, the mouse wheel actions actually live in the actions list. But not all actions are assignable to the mouse wheel because, well, it's a continuous controller like a rotary encoder on your MIDI controller. Uh, and I'm sure some asshole will comment like, well, technically the mouse wheel, do, bu, bu. but just, okay. Overall, there are 15 combos of mouse wheel shortcuts in any given Reaper install, since you can also add modifiers to it. And you can see all of these options on screen. And today I'm gonna to show you what I do with all of these. So without further ado, let's start with the basic zoom and scroll functions and work our way up to the more exciting stuff. Now by default, the mouse wheel is set to zoom horizontally. Command and mouse wheel zooms vertically. Shift and mouse wheel scrolls horizontally and option shift and mouse wheel scrolls vertically. These were some of the first actions I reassigned in Reaper because they just don't make too much sense to me. Namely using mouse wheel to zoom horizontally seems quite counterintuitive because almost every program in existence uses the mouse wheel to scroll vertically like Chrome or any word editor, other DAWs like Logic Pro and Pro Tools. And even in Reaper, if you're in the actions list or the media explorer, the mouse wheel just scrolls vertically. So for most of us, that's buried pretty deep in the muscle memory. So it just made more sense to me to go to the action list and set scroll vertically to mouse wheel, shift and mouse wheel to scroll horizontally. That makes sense. Let's keep that. And to zoom, I have command and mouse wheel for zooming vertically. And then I have command option and mouse wheel to zoom horizontally. Now for any of the zoom and scroll actions, you have two sets. One is normal and one is reversed. And that's really up to you which one you're more comfortable with. If you want the same zoom and scroll controls in the MIDI editor, you have to go and set those up separately. I don't know of a way of just copying them over. Some people find this annoying, but I'd argue that it takes less time to set it up and forget it forever than to whine about it on various Reaper forums. Now, since we use command option and mouse wheel to zoom horizontally and then command to zoom vertically, I also have combined both of those in a single custom action and I use option and mouse wheel to scroll both ways. This also depends on your zoom center settings here in preferences and editing behavior, which I've gone over previously, so I won't get into it too much. But again, find the video in the description for a much closer look at zooming overall. There is also the Alchemist tool, which does this a lot more smoothly, but it seems to be buggy on Mac. If you're a PC user, I'll put the link to that also in the description and you can check it out and tell me which one you prefer. Otherwise, making this custom action just takes a second. Now we said command and mouse wheel is for zooming vertically. I can add shift to that. If you have some tracks selected and you just wanna zoom in on those, you can do that with the action adjust selected track heights a little bit. And for me, that's command shift and mouse wheel. Pretty nice. Finally, for control and mouse wheel, I have a special zoom function set up and that just zooms in on the screen. Now this is useful, for example, when you have a plugin whose UI doesn't resize and if it's too small, then I can just use control and mouse wheel to zoom in on that and see what's what. To set this up in Mac, you have to go to system preferences and then accessibility. From here, we go down to zoom and tick this box right here. Use scroll gesture with mouse modifier keys to zoom. And you can then also select a modifier, which for me is control. And this obviously works not only in Reaper, but in every other application. So enough about zooming and scrolling. Let's get to the real exciting stuff right after these messages. So if you open the action list and search for MIDI CC OSC only, you will see all these actions and all these CC actions you can also use the mouse wheel for. Other than that, you should also do a search for mouse wheel itself as some Reaper scripters like MPL or Aaron Senden, I hope I'm saying that correctly, a -A -Ron. have mouse wheel in their action name. So have a browse through those yourself and see if there's anything you like, but I'm just gonna show you the ones that I have assigned. So one of the most useful things to do with the mouse wheel is adjusting the grid. I like MPL script for this, adjust arrange grid. And I have set this to command control and mouse wheel. So hold command control and mouse wheel and I can change the grid size over here. This is also available in the MIDI editor section. And again, you need to assign that separately and just look how easy this is. Bloop, bloop, doop, doop, done. This next one is one of my own scripts and with it, you can move the edit cursor to the next or previous measure using the mouse wheel. So that was option shift and mouse wheel and I can add command to this and I can move the edit cursor by frame, which is super useful for video editing and scoring films and all that kind of stuff. And this one is from Stevie scripts. 
and it's called SR Move Edit Cursor by Frames. Another thing you can do with the mouse wheel is adjust the metronome volume. Um, now I don't know about you, but when I'm tracking, I really like to kind of crank the hell out of the metronome. So it really just stabs me in the ears. Then once I'm done, I still want to hear the metronome so I can check how well in time I was, but I don't want it as loud. So instead of doing that through the menu, I have set option shift and mouse wheel to set metronome volume MIDI CC slash OSC only. This is a stock Reaper action. So I can just adjust the level on the fly instead of having to right click here and adjust the volume that way. Which is pretty uh, sick as the young kids say these days. With shift control and mouse wheel, I adjust the solo and front volume. And if you don't know what that is, basically it's a way for you to not mute other tracks when you solo a track, but just kind of turn them down and the amount you turn other tracks down by is possible to control using the mouse wheel with the action adjust solo in front dim. This is nice because I can basically always have solo in front enabled and then using control shift and mouse wheel, I can just adjust how much to turn other elements down by. So if I go all the way down, it's essentially a normal solo, but I can also kind of control the amount I want to hear other elements by. So, you know, if I'm EQing an element in a mix, for example, I can use this function so that the element I'm focusing on is a bit louder than everything else so that I can focus on it, but I can still hear the rest of the track and make my decisions in context. This next one is pretty self-explanatory. Go to track. So I can hold down command option and control. And then using the mouse wheel, I scroll through the selected track. So that's that one. This next one is pretty useful. With the action adjust last touched effects parameter, I can, well, adjust my last touched effects parameter. So say I wanna compress my uh, drums a little bit, you know, I can dial in the basics and then when it comes to kind of setting the final threshold, I can play through different sections of the track and just using this mouse modifier, I can adjust the threshold without having to come back to it. And note that you also don't need to keep the window floating. I'm just doing that here for demonstration. But yeah, this is just kind of like having an all purpose knob right at your fingertips. And finally, with all four modifiers held down, I can use the mouse wheel to adjust the project play rate. This is useful for, you know, podcast editing or any time where you need to edit stuff fast. Just hold down the modifiers and I can increase the project play rate using my mouse wheel. And you can see all of these options on screen. And today I'm going to show you what I do with them. Or you can listen slowly so you can hear clicks and pops better in your recordings. Um, and I'll also show you where to download the custom scripts and all of that jazz. And as a bonus, in order to quickly get back to the play rate of one, what I have done is this. So go to the mouse modifier section and then in the context, select track and double click. And I have all four modifiers plus double click set to transport set play rate to one. And in order to do this, all you got to do is double click right here and then select action list, find this action and just click on select. So now with the four modifiers and mouse wheel, I can adjust my play rate on the fly. All of that jazz. So without forgetting, without forgetting. And then double click anywhere to just set it back to one. But now by default, the mouse wheel is set to zoom horizontally. Then, by the way, in the MIDI editor, I use all four modifiers to adjust swing strength, which is pretty jazzy. Before we go, I just want to show you some of the other things you can do with the mouse wheel in other places in Reaper. And most of these aren't really possible to customize as far as I know. So for example, in the mixer window, regular mouse wheel, meaning without any modifiers, will just scroll through the tracks. In re -EQ, you can use the mouse wheel to adjust the cue 
for any band that you're hovering over and you can add command to it and you can find adjust the cue. In Rhea X Comp, you can hover your mouse over any band and adjust its ratio with the mouse wheel without having to open the sub menu for that band. And again, add command to that for finer adjustments. I didn't know this till recently, but in general dynamics, the mouse wheel actually zooms in on the display, which is awesome for finer adjustments. Rhea Tune is my favorite because when you're in manual correction mode, whatever scroll or zoom mouse wheel actions you have set up in the arrange view, all of those are respected here as well. So with the same hotkeys, I can scroll and zoom around in Rhea Tune, And that means that I don't need to learn a whole new kind of set of scrolling actions for my vocal tuning. And finally, if you go to preferences, editing behavior and mouse, you have these three options up top. And if you untick them all, then you can hover your mouse over any fader or knob and then use the mouse wheel to adjust it. And again, you can add command for finer control there. So this applies to your volume fader, your pan knob, your width knob, but also any knob in any plugin that you may have embedded as well. This also allows it to hover your mouse over the BPM counter up here or even the play rate knob to adjust those. But I actually have all of these off because I found that too often I was accidentally adjusting levels and just not noticing. So again, I have all of these off, but you do you. Okay, so here's the list of all of the stuff that I've shown today. Check the description for more info on where to download the custom scripts and all that stuff. There's a lot of links down there. And otherwise, that's it for today. If you like the work I do, you can support the channel by one-time donations through buymeacoffee.com or you can become a member of the channel here on YouTube. All the relevant links are in the description. Thanks to Jeremy Daw and John Tidy for your recent contributions to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.